previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin, and AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers. When She's Sarah, terrible. One of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. King. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together. Violet is a great friend. Those are rare. A plus moment. Then Loved the it. Raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. That sucked. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. Hopefully to hell. We knew someone who did. Abel. We got him tied up. He's our hostage for now. Let's see how this plays out. The last episode was crazy towards the end. Very traumatic. So apparently Clementine is 17 in this game. I didn't know that. She still seems really young to me, like 15, 14. That's sad. Sorry, Ruby. It's not looking good. At the start, I was so little and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes. He was. He was always nice to me. And that's what matters. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Right. That's unfortunate. Mitch was looking after all of us. He gave his life so we could go on fighting. I know that. Doesn't make it any easier. He'd want us to find our friends and bring them home safe. And he'd want us to kill the people who took them. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. We should bury Mitch. It's time. I'll help you carry Get away from him! <laughs> You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Really? Well, it's true! We had a plan and that idiot messed it up! Wait, no, it's not Ten's fault. Come on, Willie, none of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! Ten! Because it wasn't his I'll fault! Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and Asim. And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know... Hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Oh man. I don't want to go back in the basement. 
bad things happen down here. Hi, Rosie. Looking good. Guess I'll take that. School pride, yay. Gotta love this school. This should be strong enough to hold him. Brody. Aw. I'ma pet the dog. Yay. So cute. Good boy. I mean, girl. Got your gun back, huh? Uh huh. <sighs> Ready? Oh my god, that woke me up. Well, it ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> All right, then. Got any water? Drink. You got good man or squirt? Don't mind if I do. We'll let him drink. <laughs> You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's going to turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits. Lily won't make the same mistake. All right, we're not going to be disrespectful when you're sitting in the back. chair. Trust me. Rosie, come here. Because this guy, yeah, I, I was trying to be nice, but all right. I'm going to do that. You don't have it in you. Oh, yeah? You sure about that? Go ahead. Oh, Call it off! Call it off, you fucking psycho! Just tell us where they took our friends so we can get them back. <laughs> Lily will never give him up. Only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say, point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. I don't give a shit about your war or your fucking Delta. You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home, built to last. Okay, we'll and protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. 
answer to all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? The smoke will clear my mind. Don't do that. No, don't give him that. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. Oops. <laughs> I hope AJ remembers that. That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. No, it's not. I think he's dying. This game over. He's gonna die, isn't he? Yeah. Isn't that what you wanted? I did, but... You're gonna get your wish. When you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. <laughs> My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will. <sighs> For my body to turn on me, to take control, I'll tell you where to find Lily. That's what we want to know. You won't let me turn. I'm begging you. All right, well, as long as you tell me. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. You, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. We're not gonna let this guy suffer. That's not right. Even though I don't like him, even though he probably wouldn't have mercy killed us, we're gonna give it to him. Not that. I wanna let me keep my face. How do you wanna die then? You don't need to watch this. I want to. Oh my God. What did I do to AJ? Oh. <sighs> At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. I didn't torture a man in front of him. We didn't do much torturing. Come on, we have a boat to find. Oh no, he's a psycho baby. Psycho child, man. Hey, here's the thing, right? Like, let's... He's he's got to he's got to see stuff like this though. It's got to be honest. 
we can't hide stuff from him. We can't make him like uh, that girl from season two. She didn't see the world. She was all like bubble girl. Didn't know what was going on out there. And as soon as she went out there, she like freaked out and didn't want to do anything. I don't remember what her name was. Her name Sarah. I think it was Sarah. She didn't do squat and she died easily. You guys saw how fast she died. She didn't last a second outside once we finally got out. So AJ can't be like that. Now, the things that I've done in front of AJ haven't been horrible. Like the torturing there could have been really bad. We gave that guy some water. We kind of bit up his leg a little bit with Rosie. We put the cigarette out. It wasn't that bad. Like, come on. It could have been a lot worse. We could have slapped him. We could have beat him. We could have, you know, done some really nasty stuff. And we mercy killed him. We didn't even like let him turn. We mercy killed him. Which is good. He was going to die. Either way it went. That guy was cooked. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if 10 doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Tin's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Tin. I dare you. AJ, Watch chill. Look. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's <laughs> spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. I like how he said it though, a wood street in the water. <laughs> Let's see what everyone's doing. Let's talk to Willie. Anything useful? Looks like building material, furniture, probably stuff from the train station. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. I know, right? Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. I hope Lewis is okay. Where's AJ at? You ever seen this boat before? Oh, I see him. No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. There are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. Wait, I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. Guess we'll be using him. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. Yeah, this ship is huge. All right. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're going to need one hell of a distraction. Walkers! Maybe some walkers as a distraction?
Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. James. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Oh, look at him on this little rock. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. More torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses, too. We could get on the boat easier that way. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. That's smart. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. Yeah, let's burn the hay. Traps. Weapons! Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick. Uh-oh. All right, what the heck's going on up here? A raider has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it. people you steal I don't know what you're I'm not fucking around answer the question the boiler deck second deck they're all there Clementine wait that that's Minnie oh what the After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Marlon's dead too. Ten's boots holding up okay. His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlon died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Not the new kid. Violet's the one in charge. Really? The Violet I knew could barely stand to talk to people. 
let alone play class president. You're the one who convinced the school to fight back. From where I'm standing, that puts you in charge. Your leadership is going to get my little brother killed. Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Merlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but... Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. Dang. Well, he gave you and Sophie away. Yeah, and we all survived it. Merlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Many Dang. Glenn protected us. Yeah. And how come so many people are dead? He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. What? Oh, that's terrible. God, you know about... Shit. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I couldn't. Why not? Your brother's there. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. It is nice to see that they have a lot more of, uh black characters in this one so, in this season how many walkers do you think james will help us get and they're really good too 15 100 a thousand Clem, i don't ow gunshot wound it feels like someone pinched me from inside i know that hurt here let's rest a second Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. Gotta let it go. Punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I don't like this feeling. Wanting to hurt somebody. I know it's hard, AJ. But thoughts like that, they go away. You just have to give it time. Uh, waiting's hard. I'm just thinking too much. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Aww. The cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. It was bad. He just doesn't know stuff like we do. 
And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, why don't we teach them? They're smart. Someone just has to show them what to do. Yeah. I want Tim to know how to be safe. That's good. We can show them how to be smart, like us. Yeah. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. <laughs> troubled youth. Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay. Um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you. I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. Eh, it doesn't work like that. It's too deep down inside you. It never goes away. That sucks. But you can resist it, just like anger. I still like them. As you should. I like Tim the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Aww. I thought I was your first real friend. Yeah, what's oh, up with that? Yeah, but you don't count. You're old. Not that you're old. Fine. He's my second first real friend. That's adorable. Uh-oh. What's going on up here? I don't see James, just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them. The walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, wait, he's over there. Whoa, got him. Okay, did you get the mask yet? Long, I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have. There. Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey, over here. Hey, Jake. Oh, no. Oh, there are too many of them. The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. 
Nice. Woo! Teamwork. AJ, are you okay? Yeah, no bites. Yeah, I spared him, James. It would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. Thank you for helping me get this back. What was that other thing he pulled out? What the heck was that? Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see, so you can understand what you're asking. James! We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. What's he about to show us? Are we about to have a revelation? Like, is it something about walkers where it's like they are human or something? Like he's going to be like, look how human they are. It's safe. Just a little further. What is that building? Clem, what's this? It's called a salt lake. Salt lake? Ugh, sounds gross. Well, maybe it's actually good, like chips. Those are salty, right? Like the snack bag in the car. Can I lick it? Go ahead. Lick it if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> gross. It tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, learning sucks. <laughs> hey, we all got to learn the hard way. I'm mean for doing that, but I wanted him to lick it. <sighs> Doesn't look like there's been a horse here in a long time. Or ever. My people, my former people. They had a practice. They called it collecting. Okay, we kind of have seen people do this. Like in 400 days, they did that. They used them as a weapon. Right. I'll do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead. Not alive. I wish I could see it that way. It'd be nice to think that everyone isn't actually gone. In a way, they're just lost. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Yeah. Clem's friend. 
Lee. Her parents. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. What about her parents? I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. Lewis would do it for us. Yeah, I guess. Yuck. What is this, Halloween? The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. I will. Remember to breathe. <laughs> I will. I promise. He's so concerned. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. All right, guys, we're going to do this. Get ready. Touch the wind chimes. I feel like Michael Myers. I feel like Jason. Okay. How does this work? Where's the wind chimes at? Oh, I see them. What the heck? They do kind of move like people. Whoa. That's kind of crazy. I'm scared. Just by wearing a mask? Holy sh! Well, this whole time we've been... So the walkers really are just an obstacle at this point. Dang, James literally opened our eyes. That's crazy. Whoa, hey there, kiddo. It's all right, I'm fine. See? Oh no man. No bite. That means they can live amongst so, them then, if they all make masks. I still think they're just monsters. No. Now that you've seen them at peace, any different at all? I, I think you might be right about there being something more to them. Mm. It was kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. 
I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <laughs> that's enough. What about the walkers? That was cute. To help us save our friends. I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. You saved AJ and me because you said you didn't want us to become soldiers. What makes it okay this time? They're going to make all our friends into killers. More violence, more death. And you could have stopped it. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. If it's not right. Anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. I love how he walks just like them, too. He full on role plays. When you said there might be people inside walkers, did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. <sighs> Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought. For the world turn like this maybe something is left after we die oh, it sounds weird but if you believe it i do too come on aj let's get back before it's too dark well it's something that we don't really know much about right like people just know that you turn into one of them and they eat people. That's it. I've never met anyone like James before. James is the only one that's actually like researched he's them. Tough. It seems. Not like you though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. He is really cool. Hey Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were going to sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. <laughs> what the hell is a hoot nanny? <laughs> <laughs> it's just another way of saying party. I know it sounds strange throwing a party but people need something to lift their spirits right about now this could be her last chance mm. i wanted to make some tea for everyone could i borrow your little heater thing what can i do we need to pretty up the old music room could you make us something colorful to hang up okay i'll be an artist uh, he was excited about that I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor, decoration, a decoration for the party. Okay, <laughs> the heater. I like the way you think, boy. You do your thing. Where can I put the uh, 
the flag that I got. How's the drawing coming? Can I see? Nope, it's not done yet, but it is pretty good. I'm done, Klim. Come see. Okay, be right there. All right, let's see. Oh, maybe I can put it over here? Nah. Hey, you're getting Aww. good at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. Right. He's really good. He is good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. Wonder what he was thinking about. Kind of lies, Clem. Hmm. Oh yeah. There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes. Right as you kill them, like you did to Abel. His his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I want to be better, Clem. Let people know I'm good just by my face. You're the best, okay? I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Oh yeah, okay. for sure. What are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. AJ, we've talked about this a lot. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. I don't want to talk about this anymore. But you brought it up, so we're going to. It does something weird to my stomach, like I'm going to get the dookies. <laughs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I don't want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. Aww. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. 
Be careful. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today with Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. They brainwashed her. I'm, I'm confused, I guess. It's not Minnie's fault. The Raiders just got in her head. I never said it was, but it doesn't change anything. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ, or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Oh, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. <laughs> but then I realized under all that, he, he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it. He says it. I'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. Right. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim. We'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. What is that? A button? A Clementine? Really? <laughs> it's like the name badge. It'll look good on your jacket. I like it though. That's sweet. Hey, yo, I got reflexes, let me tell you. <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> 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 He's awesome. You get to play catch with AJ. <laughs> You're terrible. He's actually laughing. That's cute. I haven't seen him laugh in so long. I love you, Clem. Oh, I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay. We better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Why are they making it seem like something bad's gonna happen to Clem? And I'm gonna cry. And I'm gonna. Uh, why can't she have a good ending? I want a good ending. I'm praying for a good ending, please. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but... Purple might be nice. Purple is fire. Really natural moonlight, so something to compliment that maybe. Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. Really? I somewhere purple. I love purple. Royalty. Purple. 
<laughs> really? What? I like purple. Shouldn't you like it too? Violet? Violet? Right. I'll Let her know. So you take one of those black things that look like plates and what black things? Here. And then it plays music? Uh-huh. And now you just have to turn that crank on the side. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. AJ, why don't you come up with something? Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. I promise not to swear all over it. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. I guess jazz. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh yeah, the old music teacher was a big fan. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz sound like? Uh, well, that one's hard to describe. Mm, just wait till you hear it. This place is gonna look great. Hello, oh, Jazz. Billy was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. That sounds like a good idea. Anyone else ever again. We're going to blow up the boat. <laughs> the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? He loves bombs. For Mitch. Nice. Mitch would love this plan. I know, it's perfect. I can't think of a better memorial than to blow that boat out of the water. The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem? I'm sorry for before, about how he treated Ten. Aww. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. So AJ again. AJ is killing it. Wow, this looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I'll mingle with people. Yay. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. I'm going to make it purple in my room right now. Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. All the best bombs have names. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. He's not wrong. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. Ruby's Revenge, Mitch's Masterpiece. I like Ruby's Revenge. Let's name it after you, Ruby. Yeah? Hell yeah, Ruby's Revenge. Goddamn right. They're looking like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I found them. 
Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. Oh, well, that sounds fun. I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Wonder who that is. Could only be one person. Hmm. That's all of you. That's gotta be Violet. Nope. Way scarier. Oh, it was Marlin? That's Ruby's file. <laughs> Holy shit. Really? What? Guilty as charged. Oh, yeah. shit. You should have seen Ruby back in the early days. No way. She was like, uh, you ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, that little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. No way. Trust How? Me. Nobody wanted to know that. Aw. Oh, no. Uh, don't you dare. Oh, 10. Uh, anyway. Maybe we should change up the music? I like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Put on the classical stuff. I like how there's no Motown or anything like that. It's got jazz, classical, and country. I don't, I don't mind country though. I actually like country. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. That's a lot of people. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? Too many. 34. 34? Oh. That is terrible. I'm sorry. Well, that just killed the mood. Who is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. Okay. I mean, you know what? It doesn't really matter, to be honest. The person you are right now is all that matters to me. Whatever bad things you did in the past, that's not you anymore. I don't think so. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. Who would have known how? Huh? He liked that one. You could just sing it to us like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, uh, I can do that.
wash away the sorrow, brush away the tears, sing away your heavy heart, the night will be over soon, the For every night goes quiet And every moon grows blue That's sweet Beyond the dark comes something new The sun will be rising soon The sun will be rising soon The sun will be rising soon Oh man, they sang that song. It was so beautiful. Violet has a really nice voice, but I'm so worried. I hope nobody dies. Oh wait, this is a flashback. Oh, oh. it's Lee. Lee? She looks better in these graphics. Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Oh, well, it's not a flashback. A quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? <sighs> Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends. And getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine what Lewis is going to say when he sees your face. Those boys are going to have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. 
I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. Lee? I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask, how's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it? He'd be hard, too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. EJ's amazingly. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. You'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am. Not the song. moving Lee but I'm tired of running I I have a home now then you're off the hook a home is better than I could have ever hoped for time to go Clementine you've got people that need you They really gotta hit us with that right now, right now. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. Why well, they gotta hit us like that right now? It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. We're just gonna get in this boat. We're gonna get these kids. We gotta go. doing this only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves now we just need your walker friend to... he's here good lord uh, hello <sighs> guys this is james he's my friend he's uh so cool <laughs> how do you get the skin like that uh, oh I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Willie, stay focused. Now isn't the time for this. 
We can ask questions later. Yeah, right. Sorry. I'm focused. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone? For I like how you remember that. Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just... being welcomed. It's strange. That one boy called me cool. <laughs> Not sure anyone's ever said that to me. You know, they could be your friends too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But... It does sound nice. Let me think about it. I wanted to show you something. Yeah, what was that? We saw that earlier. Oh. Was my boyfriend, Charlie. Oh! We whispers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. Oh, y'all were so cute together. What do you mean? The whispers were my family. From a young age. That's that sad. Time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. Didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. Whoa. It was enough of a reason for me. That sounds like Jane. That's kind of hard to believe. It doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore, but it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. Mm. AJ told me he killed someone. It reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that from a young age. It breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I bet. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. Oh man. That means he's gonna... He's gonna get into a situation where he might kill somebody. God dang it. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's definitely foreshadowing. As as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. When is that going to happen? This episode or next? Oh boy. What if it's like Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. I don't know what I'm going to do in a situation like that. Take care of the supplies. What if he has to kill someone? Find the boiler. 
There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died and Minnie is one of them now. Just, if you see her out there, Tell her, tell her I forgive her, please. I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. time. We gotta move. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or the Sim. Omar. You saved me from these people. In a way, you've saved most of us. And if something happened to you, and it was my fault? I can't lose you too. Understandable. You better not disappear on me, okay? Okay. Are we good? Yeah. I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. How do they wash their clothes? They must really stink. Get my back. Thanks. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Oh crap. Here we go. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. I don't like this. I don't like this. Ah, I can't get to it fast enough, man. I'm dead. <laughs> I love the you are dead uh, bot though. That was kind of cool looking. I, I didn't, they weren't close enough to me to do it. At least you know you have a, a good amount of time if the light shines on you to grab someone. Like that. That's kind of cool though. What a good strat. Nice. 
Nice. Leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. This gameplay is scary. It's gonna grab me, isn't it? No. The guts are washing off. Uh, invisible pier. Follow me this way. Oh my god, the zombies just walk underwater? Never even knew that. That's so weird. They don't have to breathe? Oh, shoot. Square, square. Fuck, are you okay? I'm fine. Stay close. Stay hidden. Uh, this reminds me of little nightmares. Ah, go. Okay, we're good. Come on, let's hurry. Ready, AJ? Walkers. We're gonna use our bow right now? Why? Why? This is close combat. I don't know why she didn't use her knife there. I don't like how Clem promised James that she wasn't going to have AJ kill again. Like, I don't want to promise. I feel like I was forcing that promise. I just said I would try. I can't promise something like that. That's something out of my control. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Oh, 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 oh. Like, sometimes I feel like, like, some of the options in this game have been misleading, like, throughout the series. Like, if I would have known he, she was going to promise, I wouldn't have said that. I mean, saying that you'll try to make sure he doesn't become one and promising that he won't is, like, two different things. Looks like Omar. Mm -hmm. I'm going to knock him out. That was nice. Hey, Clem, this has got to be the boiler, right? It looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. This Hopefully the bomb safe. works. Maybe there's another way in. Uh-oh. 
wait here. Oh my god, I almost messed up there. Whew. <laughs> that was scary. Time to live up to your name, Ruby's Revenge. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? I'm not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. I'm very nervous. All right, let's go up. Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother, just a short, scarred face. See, he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Oh, shit. Of course she had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. Get out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. Come on, girl. Join our team. Oh, shit. Join our team. Let's go. You get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Okay. Come on, we have to hurry. Where's Lewis? Where's Lewis? Clementine? Holy Sim? Fuck. Oh my god. Are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I. Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Lewis first. He's. He's in rough shape. Rough shape? I'll unlock the other cell. I mean, I know his arm was messed up. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. What's going on with him? He looks all right. Lewis. Kinda. <gasps> Whoa! What the fuck are you doing? Please. Don't no. fucking point that at me. You and Violet don't have to. What the? She betrayed us. No. What's wrong with his mouth? Lewis. <laughs> Is he good? His mouth wasn't like that last time I saw him. Ooh. What did they do to you? No, 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 don't. They, they, uh, they cut out his tongue. He just, uh, oh, fucking talking. Oh my God. Which is what he does a lot. I'm sorry, Lewis. <laughs> oh, man. We're getting out of here, okay? <laughs> oh, man. 
Let's get you home. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Man. They messed my man up. He didn't deserve all that. You'll be home soon. We're not staying here that long. Well, the gunshot stopped. I hope everyone's okay. Violet's over there. Looks like there's a gap here. Too small to fit my hand through. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here. Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. Vi, are you all right? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... Oh yeah, we're in here. That would not be good. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. Omar, are you hurt? I... Fuck. I just want to go home. We will. Okay. How you holding up? I can't talk. If Lily... She told us not to talk. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. Dang. They messed Lewis up. I promise. There's nothing in here that we can work with. Oh man. Just a piece of paper. Oh wait, what is that? Latch. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ, do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Oh, nice. All right, let's do it. Hey! <gasps> Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. I ain't scared of you. Is she looking like Dante from DMC he? Remake? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck, you little monster. Damn it. 
We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Woo! I was slick with that. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. Dang. You know, my father, Larry, was a military. Yeah, we know. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. Hey, I've, no matter how many I've lived that life. I about the cost of electricity. I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwich. <laughs> ah, that last one. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Good. I can see you're paying attention. Yeah, there's no point in talking. Father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting or they'd lose everything they built, their crops, their power, even their lives. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? My God. I killed her. Whoa, what? what? Jesus Fuck. Christ. Minnie, no, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? You forced them to do that, that's why. She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Yeah, you forced like her. Or not. You're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you 
fucking psychotic bitch. You're evil. You are fucking evil. Y'all better back away from the door. All right, Lily. You made your point. I'll do what you want. What? No! You can't become a soldier in their army. Just don't hurt anyone else. Good. I'm surprised to hear you bend so easily. But as I said before, this isn't a negotiation. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. Oh! You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! Why are the black women so mean in this game? Easy. <laughs> Why do they do this? Still. Shit. Fuck you, no! No, don't do this. <gasps> AJ! AJ ain't don't playing. Make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just breathe. <sighs> oh! Give her the Mike Tyson, AJ. Let's go. He spit that year out. Ooh. Ooh. That's enough. He bit me. I said that's enough. He Mike Tyson her ear off. You deserve to die. We'll kill you. You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river. I will put a knife right to the side of your head. That's my dog. Oh, guy. I know I can do it. I killed Marlon. He wasn't a monster, but you are. Dang. <laughs> this. So you killed Marlon. I taught him well. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You to make a great soldier. Leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care Don't do this. about you. Come on. Let's go have a chat. Just us. <laughs> Don't you fucking touch him. Clem, no, no, please. Clementine, AJ. Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Oh. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival. Look at what you're doing. Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you. We're Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. Oh, okay, Clem. I know. I know. Okay? But Sophie's dead. Ooh. Get it, get it, get it. Need to understand. This is the only way. Lay down, stay in line, or you die. The people you love die. If you just do what they say, you can live. All of you. Ah, screw that. I ain't doing nothing. I'm out of here. Nope, screw that. Behind you. Yeah, I know. You're the nope. Problem here. Uh, oh, Clem, no. Let you get them all killed. You, you're the one killing people. What are you talking about? You killed your sister. Nerva! I can't let her leave. Shit. Oh, nice. She had to do that. Dang, they were together too. They were a unit. Come on. We have to go. I can't. I can't leave her. Go, I'll catch up. Clem, come on! We have to get the hell out of here! Go! I need to find AJ. Better see you on land. You will.
Maybe she has changed. Maybe you can't change her. I wasn't just going to bend over for her, though. Screw that. Shit, they started the boiler. We don't got much time. We got to save AJ. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. Was that my window to move? You'll come around too once you see what we have. To I can barely see that guy's face. You food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. You can even share a room. Found one more sneak. Uh oh. The docks. Is that ten? Ten. Oh no. Fuck. I know, right? Tennessee. Dang it. Did you get lost, ma'am? He wasn't alone. And Willie or Ruby? This way. Found this in the herd. James? <gasps> no. I wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leaving those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say. You don't fucking scare me. Yeah, say that, James. Is that Let so? her know. Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Kill it. No! What the fuck? Ten! Easy there, ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Oh, no. You turned your back on her. Go ahead. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? Oh, man. Oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. Help him, AJ. Help him. Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't. No. Yeah, AJ, go. Let's go. Who was that? Oh, that was James. That was James. I thought that was somebody else. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get that gun. Let me get that gun. Let me get that gun. I gotta kill this. I should have killed you in season one. It would have been OV. We should have been done with you. Lee should have killed you. Whoa. Dang. Go, AJ, go. Ugh. Oh, wait, I gotta hold it. Oh, man, I'm getting up. I'm getting up. They're gonna give me a choice here, and I hate it. I hate this game for choices. I don't want a choice. Don't give me any choices. Man, she ain't that strong. Let's go. I like how he just looked at her leg. Oh, I know that hurt. Take it again. Who's getting the gun first? 10. Oh, AJ did. <gasps> AJ, wait. I give up. Oh, the game's over. <laughs> Put down the gun. I'll the game's go. over. Nah, that's not what I heard earlier. She's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. That's true. She cut my friend's tongue out. She did. Tell her. Tell her, AJ. Do this, please. It's a trick. Don't you 
fucking dare, AJ. She's tricking you, AJ. Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die. Kill her. Kill her, AJ. Kill her. We're done. No, I don't care. I do not care. Uh, James, I don't even want to hear it. My man's a killer. Oh, oh my God. Lily, you couldn't find the other. What did you do? You were fucking dead. Oh, wait, 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 what's gonna happen? Oh, the bomb. Shit, the bomb. AJ! Good riddance, b good riddance. B nah, I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. She was not going to spare us. She cut out Lewis's tongue. She was a monster. She was worse than Marlin. She cut out my man's tongue. My dude has no tongue. She kept screwing with us, trying to capture us, trying to enslave these children. That girl deserved to die. I don't care what anyone says. Nobody can give me any shit for that. She was, that was the Nickelodeon boat. Okay. They were, they were holding kids hostage over there. I'm not going to let that happen. Not on my watch. Absolutely not. AJ. If AJ becomes a killer, that's fine. Okay. At least he's killing for justice. All right. <laughs> I mean, Batman doesn't use guns, but you know what? AJ does, man. Some some superheroes got to do what they got to do. That's what the Punisher's for, right? The Punisher uses guns. <laughs> He's a hero, kind of. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we got. 89% of players Mercy killed Abel. Okay, we're in the majority. Cool. 49% of players respected James' beliefs and killed no walkers. Cool. You and 30% of players named the bomb Ruby's Revenge. Okay, most people wanted to give a tribute to Mitch. Understandable. I just like the name Ruby's Revenge more. I would have I chose the Mitch one if it sounded better. It just didn't sound cool. 86% of players allowed AJ to attack Dorian. No way. Yeah, because people, people um, wanted AJ to, to do his thing, you know? Oh, I was in the majority. I was pretty much in the majority for everything. It was pretty, uh, pretty clear cut this time around. I mean, the only thing that I wasn't in the majority for was something that was kind of like, it was just naming the bomb. It's just whatever, right? It's nothing crazy. Minerva was stunned when you told her Marlon killed Brody. Mm-hmm. Abel is dead. Yep, we know. Yeah, we killed Lily Lou. Was surprised by your offer to cooperate. But she's dead now. AJ felt conflicted after you killed Abel, sparing him from turning. AJ is MIA, bro. He's MIA. What does that mean? Missing in action? But here's the thing. Oh, because of the bomb, and we don't know where they all are. I was like, wait. <laughs> I was like, he feels missing in action? Like, like as in like his feelings towards me? Hey, that was the one thing that I broke that James didn't want was I did make AJ kill someone, but he's already killed someone. What's another person that's bad? Like, hey. I hope they made it off the boat. Violet was embarrassed when you didn't want to hear why she was sent to Erickson. Why? I'm more focused on who she is now, not who she was. Why she doesn't have to be embarrassed. Yeah, they were about to cut her. Oh, so they would have cut her finger off. That would have happened. Yeah, that was good that we let AJ do that then. Rosie is worried about everyone. Ruby was proud you did not recognize her official Erickson evaluation. Okay. There was a bunch of things I missed collectible wise. That was a good um 
episode though. I can't wait for four. Um, it was solid. I had a good time with this one. I want to see how it all ends, man. Are we going back home? We're gonna get off the boat. Lily's dead. What is the new trials and tribulations that we're gonna face in this episode? I'm guessing we need to get rid of some more of the adults because there was a bunch. There's a whole base of adults. I don't know. Maybe they'll show up. Who knows? But that was a solid episode. I had a lot of fun with that one. And I love that we got to see Lee again. That was great. But with that being said, hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Hope will never die. Orale.